Hi everyone, this is Rash Goyal. I'm back again with yet another amazing video. So this is the most requested video as I have posted about an opening in D Shop for female candidates who are currently pursuing their second year or third year in engineering, majorly in computer science and related fields. So I am talking about D E Shop Send Fellowship. Like this was the program that they conducted last year. So this year they have a bit modified this program. They have named it as D E Shop Educare Program. So this. Uh, what were the differences between the last year's program and this year's program? What is the similarity between the application process? So we are going to discuss about each and everything. Don't forget to watch this video till the end because you will be getting some amazing insights into how you should fill your application and what are some of the important things. I have talked to people like last year 30 girls were selected. I have talked to some of them and got to know what were some of the points in their application and how they made their application better so that they were get they got selected for the same. So uh, I'll. First of all, we'll describe the entire thing. What was the last year's process? Then we'll discuss this year's process, and after that, I'll walk through the entire application process so that you can make your application. But if you're new to the channel, if you haven't already checked out other playlists, I recommend you to go and check out other playlists. And don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends for more and more such amazing content coming ahead. So let's talk about DE Shaw. Ascend Fellowship. This was the program that they launched for the very first time in the last year. So. Last year it was known as DE Shaw Ascend Fellowship and it was it was open to only pre final year female candidates. If we talk about the application process of last year, so it included an application form along with three to four essay type questions and a resume. That was all. Like there were no interviews, no tests conducted, and there were around twenty five hundred applicants. And out of those twenty five hundred applicants, only thirty were shortlisted for this entire program. After these thirty girls were shortlisted, so they were entitled to attend. An event of three days, and that included a lot of sessions related to finance, related to technology, how to appear for interviews at DE Shaw and Group, and like a lot of things were there. And the sessions were pretty amazing. The like they were complete eight to ten hour session each day for the complete duration of three days, and they were offered a stipend of rupees ten thousand for those three days. So that was something really amazing and brilliant. So we'll talk about some of, some of the important points from their applications. What You should keep in mind while making your resume or why what you should write in those essay type questions that can make your application better. So we'll discuss about that. But before that, this year's program it's a bit modified. It's uh it's named as D E Shaw Educare program that is basically ranging over six months. It's a complete mentorship program to be given by D E Shaw and they'll uh help you strengthen your skills in technology as well as finance. They'll give you an overview of how company works, how. D Shaw works and what are the technology aspects of working at D Shaw? So these are the things that they will be focusing on, particularly for this year. And apart from that, uh, there will be a stipend worth rupees fifty thousand for the entire duration of program this year. And those who will be selected for this program, like you are going to have amazing six months with mentors who are industry mentors working at D Shaw, and they can definitely help you uh, be good at interviews, how to appear for processes, and it's going to be an amazing experience. So talking about some important points, what I've got to know from uh, Uh, those who applied last year was firstly try to structure your answer answers in a way so that it includes all the aspects of your application like it's not just that you should be very good at technology they want somebody who is an all rounder who who has done everything like who has tried different things and like who is good at some of the things so they don't want to you to be perfect at one field but you should be uh, uh, exploring things like they want somebody who likes to learn about more things who wants to know about things and who wants to explore things right secondly try to mention some of your experiences when i talk about experiences some things that you have already experienced in your past or some incidents you can mention some uh, important happenings of your life you can they want somebody who has a good academic achievement apart from that who, who should be uh, good at extra curricular activities who should be good at technology who should have some inclination towards finance you should be interested in finance like it's not a prerequisite but yeah having an idea of how finance works and what are the things in finance that can be a boon to you or uh, this is the second thing third thing talking about is uh, it's not just that all uh, your success stories you have to mention in your answers you can even mention your failure stories and how you overcome that so that can also impact it better because that shows how true you are to the core like you are definitely writing it out of your heart so that makes a difference in your application that will be different because everybody will write their achievements i have done this i have done i have done so i have done so but even if you want you can write your failure stories that will also make an impact and that will make a difference next try to reduce grammatical errors as much as possible and try to structure your answers twice or thrice and then read through them then only submit right it's very important because it's just the application process where most of the people will be 
shortlisted and you will not even get a chance to appear for the test and interview the last and the most important thing is the last and the most important thing is make sure that whenever you write these answers try pinging some of the previous year de show send fellowship winners so they so that they can review your answer once and they can give you suggestions on how you can make your uh, application better that is one thing and also when you are submitting your resume for this particular uh, program it's not about that it should be completely focused upon tech like you are so and very good at coding or so but it should include all your previous achievements also like if even if you are in your second year so you don't have much achievements that you have done in during your engineering so you can write some of your achievements from class 10th class 12th if there is something for example you are an ntsc scholar so that adds to your profile right they have significantly asked if you were an ntsc scholar or a kvpy scholar that is also a part of their application so that things also matter and like what all other things you have achieved just sit down and look at your certificates whatever you can put in them make a good section of achievements in your resume while submitting right so these are some of the things that you should uh, know and i'll now make you go through the entire application uh, form that will will discuss about some of the important things on how you can frame those answers and how can you make your application better so if you are watching this video till now don't forget to press the like button and share it with your friends for more such amazing content coming so we'll have a quick walk through of the entire program the brochure that they have sent will read through some of the important points of it and then we'll come to the application form of d shows and educate program so uh, this is something that they mentioned about the company what it does so just go through this also before uh, filling your application because you can get to know some of the important values of d show and group that you can mention in your answers and that can give you an edge also about d show send educate what is this program about what they are going to do and what is in it for candidates so these are some of the important things that you will have you will ex experience whenever you are selected for this program learning coaching from mentors at d show holistic development with master classes and sessions on personal development professional development communication skills so these are some of the things that are required for your interviews opportunities to work on projects related to tech courses and under guidance of top mentors from d show and group also you'll be getting a stipend of 50000 for the duration of the program direct interaction with the leadership and opportunities to learn from the experience also you might even get a chance to internship to get an internship or a full time role at d show if in case you perform really very well so these are some of the things that you would be getting out of this program program structure is basically it would be courses would be held over weekends and each tech course includes six contact hours learning and networking events will be there you will be divided into two cohorts each for second year and third year students so with up to 40 candidates in each cohort so you see they are going to select 40 candidates from second year and 40 candidates from third year so uh, the a uh, competition is going to be really good eligibility criteria that they've already mentioned is you should be in your second year or third year in a computer science graduate course you should maybe it's it software engineering and circuit branches can also apply for dsho but uh, you just need to confirm with some of the recruiter or hr from dsho for the same program duration starts from october and ends in march 20 to selection procedure is basically the resume or cv your cgpa your course of study self nomination what is the self nomination we'll discuss when we'll uh, talk about the application form apart from that shortlisted candidates will undertake an online test and then there will be interviews for the final section this they have kept because they receive a lot of applications and it's very tough to shortlist just on the basis of an application form right so they have kept up these things they have also given an faq section you can go ahead and check out this faq section also and still if there are some issues you can email to this mail id desist send educate at the rate dsha.com to get to know about how you can move about uh, filling this form now talking about this application form so they have mentioned about the program the eligibility criteria we have already mentioned these are some of the basic details that you should fill in your first name email id and everything educational background also you should fill academic academic background also your je mains rank je advanced rank bit set score see they are giving importance to je mains rank je advanced rank because uh, still you are in your second year and you haven't explored your college well so these are some of the achievements that can also be mentioned in your resume as well like if you have achieved some good rank in je mains or if you are an ntsc scholar so they Ask about NTSC and KVPY as well. Then talking about your achievements in computer science. So you can talk about your uh, uh, competitive programming profiles first. You can talk about your open source contributions. You can talk about hackathons that you have been a part of. If you have certain organizing experiences, like you have uh, mentored at some of the hackathons, or you have worked with some of the uh, like you have worked with a group of friends on some of the some of the projects. You can mention about those projects as well. You can mention about uh, how can like something that you have done uh, to help the society using your computer science skills. So that can be an added advantage. Apart from that, you can also like if you have organized some workshops seminars or something related to programming that also can be one 
part of your achievements also if you have uh, some significant contributions in open source or you have done uh, gsoc or uh, any other such open source program so that can also be added in your achievement section next talking about the extracurricular activities so this includes all the non-tech part like if you're interested in drama sports music fine arts debating quizzing so everything can be included in this like maybe you're a part of clubs and societies in your college those can be a part of that if you are part of uh, uh, I mean to say a sports team or if you're part of a uh, cultural team or team that conducts or organizes the cultural fest or technical fest so that everything can be mentioned and it is up to you how you how uh, elaborately you mention them and how uh, quick you are at points and try choosing and picking up the words that makes a difference right. So the next thing is resume so how you can make your resume better so uh, what i've already mentioned is it should not be completely tech it should be an all over resume with your interests in various co-curricular activities extracurricular activities your uh, some section should be there for your achievements what all academic achievements you have uh, maintained some of your projects you can mention if you have certain work experience that can also be an added advantage and also like uh, it should be not completely focused upon tech but a mix of tech and overall uh, your achievements that is something that they want to see right next is uh, why should you be selected for uh, this program this is something that i will leave it up to you i'll not uh, uh, just uh, speak something about it i just want it to be true to the code you should know why you should be selected for this program anything that uh, makes you different from others something that like at any point of time or any time of adversity you have uh, shown some uh, efforts that were out of the box like something that uh, you use that was out of the box to solve a particular problem so you can mention that you can also mention about the hardships you have faced and uh, how you have come and reached at this point of time that you're studying in a college in a computer science degree that can also be one point but everyone has his or her own story so try to mention in 300 words or less because this section is going to be the most important while screening the application so this is something that is very important how do you get to learn about this program this you can mention anything on campus alumni d show website linkedin others others if you like you can write uh, whether anything you can write you can even write uh, my name that uh, if you are getting to know from my channel that also you can mention not an issue it it, it totally uh, gives them a sense and you can submit this application but make sure while writing this answer while writing extra regular activity cross check it twice or thrice there should be no grammatical mistake no uh, uh, mistake of how the sentence formation is there and you should try to enhance with each and everything like whatsoever is there in your you have done in your past try to remember everything and just put it down and give your best like take time to submit this application it's not like that you submit in half an hour or one hour take time like take two three days to think about what all things you can put you have time till 30th of august so don't just rush and fill this application make sure you fill it and give your best while filling this application and then it's all up to uh, how the things work thank you so much for this i hope many of the doubts are clear and if you still have some more doubts you can uh, comment in the comment box and i'll more than happy to answer thank you i hope you people like this amazing video for more such amazing content don't forget to like this video share it with a friend and subscribe this channel for amazing content coming ahead thank you so much